Hello everyone. Um, today I have a very special art project for you. It has been a year since COVID-19 came and we all went down in quarantine and everything changed. So I wanted to do an art project to give you an opportunity to reflect on this last year and how COVID-19 has affected your life. So we're going to be creating these little, um, well, they're not real quilts, but I call them quilts. <laughs> we're gonna be creating an image called the COVID quilt, where we are gonna take all of those feelings that you've had, the good and the bad, because there's been both, I'm sure, and we're going to put them together into one design called our COVID quilt. Now, before we get into the art making, we need to write down some feeling words. So get a piece of paper and a pencil because I want you to write down a couple feeling words um, and eventually we're gonna use those words in our artwork, okay? So with your pencil and your paper, right now, get ready. I'm gonna read you a question and I want you to write down all the words that come to your mind after this question, okay? Our first question is, what feeling words come to mind when you when you think of when we first had to quarantine? What was that like for you? So think back, what did you feel? Were you scared? Were you relieved you didn't have to go to school? Was being on quarantine, was it lonely for you? Was it relaxing and peaceful? Did you have fun at home or did you feel like you missed your friends? What were some of the feelings you had? Take a second, pause this video if you need to, to write down a few words, maybe four or five, or if you think of more, you can write more too. Okay, when you're finished with that uh, question, I'm going to read a different, another question. So question number two. What feeling words come to mind when you think of your experience with distance learning? Whether you are hybrid or full distance learning, your school experience has dramatically changed from last year. What feeling words come to mind when you think of your school experience during the pandemic? So again, were you feeling discouraged, frustrated, lost? Or were you feeling creative? Were you feeling like, um, you know, again, missing your friends? Or maybe you enjoyed being at home. Maybe you felt free and you liked that freedom. Or maybe you just enjoyed being at home with your family and it was really fun. Maybe you felt fun. So there's lots of feelings that you could be writing down right now. So again, pause this video if you need to. Take a second and write a couple feeling words down. When you're finished with that, let's move on to question number three. What feeling words come to mind when you think about the relationships you have had in your life this past year? Most of us are much more isolated than before the pandemic began. And often we see the people, day, the same people we see day in and day out. What feeling words come to mind when you think about the people that are in your daily life? What feeling words come up when you think about the people you don't get to see as often? So take a couple minutes. Now, you might notice that sometimes your feeling words repeat, that you might be feeling some of the same feelings. That's okay. Just write down those words over again. We're not going to use all the words, but we're just we're just um, kind of brainstorming. This is like our, our, our brainstorming session. Pause this video if you need to, to take your time. But when you are finished with question number three, we're gonna move on to question number four. Four, we are still in the pandemic and continue to face challenges every day. There are reasons for despair and there are reasons for hope. Take a second to check in with your mind and body. How do you feel today? Do you feel hopeful? Do you feel lonely? Do you feel nervous for the future? Or do you feel peaceful? Do you feel creative? How do you feel today? Just take a minute and write some words down. Again, you can pause this video if you need to. 
Once you have all your words listed, that big long list you made, I want you to go back and look through those words and pick eight words that you think really describe the way that you have felt this last year. So you have eight words to pick, which means you can pick some words that are really negative and awful, and you can pick words that are positive and hopeful or peaceful. In this quilt, all of our emotions can live in the same place. They can, they, you can feel a lot of things in this project. So take a second, pause if you need to, circle eight words. Once you have your eight words circled, just put that paper off to the side for a second because now we're gonna start some art making. Okay, friends, in order to make this quilt, we'll need a piece of drawing paper, a ruler, pencil, and a Sharpie. And then you can use whatever colors that you have at home. So crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have, um, watercolors. Now, we need to make this quilt, uh, this piece of paper, perfectly square for our quilt dimensions to work. Now, there's a real quick way to do that. You can take the corner of your paper and make it meet the edge of the other side of your paper. Fold it over. See, I'm a little bit off, but that's okay. Try to do a, you know, try to make it nice and line up. Then you simply just cut off the excess and you'll have a perfectly square square. Ta-da! And now I'm gonna try to undo that crease a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to make my quilt design. And I have a pretty few quick tricks on how to do that. You're going to first fold your paper in half, press down, and that little crease in the middle, that is gonna be our first straight line. Now I'm gonna line up my ruler to the edge of the paper so that they line up evenly. And I'm gonna follow that fold that I just made for my first line with my pencil. So I've got my first straight line. Then I'm gonna do the other thing on the other side. Fold it over. Here we go, line it up, and voila, nice. Now, to make even more of a design, um, because I need to make eight sections for my eight words, I'm going to divide each of these squares in half to make little triangles. So I'm going to connect the tip of this top line to the bottom of this horizontal line so that this section has two tri uh, triangles shapes. And I'm gonna do the same on each um, section, each square section. I will divide in half to make it look like there's two triangles stacked on each other. And this will be the basic design of my quilt. So I have eight different sections for the eight words that we're gonna use. So here's the basic design of my quilt. Now, I'm going to outline my quilt with a Sharpie because I really think the bold, um, it helps kind of make the images pop. So I'm just gonna go real quick back over what I just did and this time just line it up with Sharpie. Okay, I've got my quilt all ready to decorate. And I have my list of words with me. So I am going to demonstrate, uh, to get you some ideas going, I'm gonna demonstrate one box and then I'm gonna do a little more explanation with um, a quilt that I've already completed. So, each section here, so each triangle is going to house one word, one of your words that describes your year in COVID. Now, 
I am going to pick one of my words, which is joy, to give you an idea of how to go about doing this. So I want you to think of yourself, how can I describe joy or whatever your word is? How can I describe it? Well, for me, the first thing that popped into my head was a sunset. So I'm going, ah, good thing I got my pencil. I'm going to draw a sunset with the word joy in the middle. And then I'll probably add some bright, warm colors, um, like my reds and oranges and yellows, to sort of describe this joy. Now, joy might look something different for you. You might not automatically think of um, warm and warm colors. You might think of something maybe more subtle. That's the thing that is so cool about these quilts is that it is up to the individual artist to decide how to describe the way that they feel. So if you can't think necessarily of how to describe something, I want you to just first think of what kind of color you see when you think of that word. Start from there. And then maybe go to shapes. What kind of shapes do I see? Maybe a memory. Like for me, my, this one is based off a of memory of looking at a sunset. Um, so you can think of some kind of memory that might describe your, uh, you know, what, whatever word you have. Um, so this is really the part of this project that is very free form and creative. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. If you want every single box to just be like abstract shapes, you could do that too. You're the artist. You don't have to make it look like anything. Also, if you don't want to add the word to your quilt and you just want to draw a picture to describe that word, you can do that too. You don't have to add the word to it. Okay, so you kind of get the idea here of how I'm describing joy. Um, again, I just thought of warm colors and that's what really made me feel like this was joy. So, um, there's lots of different ways that you can go around approaching this. If you already have ideas, then go ahead and jump on in. If you need a little more help brainstorming, get a scratch piece of paper or something along those lines. Um, so there's my joy. That's one of my sections. Um, I might even do a sunset in the back if I had some more time. When you're finished with one of your words, just find a new section or I could even do it down here and pick another word. Let me show you one that I've already completed to give you some ideas. So I used a variety of materials in this artwork. Um, for example, this was done using crayon and colored pencil because I kind of like that. Um, I kind of wanted to have a sunset sort of look because I feel like that describes relaxation really well with a sunset in the background. I thought that would look really cool. Um, I also liked using the watercolors to describe scary because of blending the red and the black together kind of created this real ominous effect that I thought would look really, really cool. Um, when I did creative, I just thought color, that's what I saw was color. And so I just put a bunch of blobs of color down because that's what I saw. Um, let's see some other ones. Surprise, I added these kind of jagged lines because I felt like that would you know, it looks more like an explosion, which is kind of a surprise. Alone, I wanted to do something kind of just singular and small to kind of show space. So my goodness, there are so many ways to describe these different words. Right here, you might not be able to say this says depression. So I kind of did this water droplet thing to show um, the feeling of depression. Um, so there are there are so many different, um, here are some more examples real quick. There's so many different ways to do these projects. Um, uh, I thought this one was good. My, this is a, a third grader who did this one. This says isolation and it kind of shows these people in their little like bubbles. Um, here's another one. This is a sixth grader. I thought this was cool with the fire showing the anger um, and then this probably my favorite because the, uh, letters are, um, 
you know, that typography is really cool. The letters look really cool. I don't know what else to say about it. Happy. So there are a lot of different ways that you can create your quilt and you can describe your many, many emotions. Well, I hope that you enjoyed making your COVID quilt. Um, as you can see, there are so many different ways for you to describe your emotions. Um, I'm especially excited to see how these turn out. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this and have a wonderful day.